And a warm welcome. Our venue today is the Etihad Stadium here in Manchester. This is Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Manchester City up against Crystal Palace. Well, thank you, Derek. Glorious atmosphere here. Really looking forward to it. The fans are too. The players look like they're up for it. This could be end to end. We could get goals today, Derek. Number 26, Riyad Mahrez. Number 10, Sergio Aguero. And number 7, Raheem Sterling. Introducing the starting players from Manchester City. Ederson, the Brazilian, between the posts. Alexander Zinchenko starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Raheem Sterling plays with Riyad Mahrez on the flanks. And leading the line is Sergio Aguero. This is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Fairly conventional 4-5-1 setup. Yeah, that back four will be protected throughout the game with the five midfield players in front of them. Really important that they do support that lone striker when they do have the ball. commences it's with Gundogan De Bruyne Gundogan Alexander Zinchenko running with the ball confidently he's lost it racing forward trying to catch them out Well, it petered out. Now well, they've lost possession of the ball. Rodri. Now Zinchenko. Alexander Zinchenko. Well, that's one for them to pursue. So close to keeping himself onside, but offside is the verdict. Well, and that's his job, the linesman. Give those tight offside decisions and get them right. Jordan are you here and that's an important intervention just tell us Lee what you think the plan should be from the point of view of the visitors well I think the visitors will get everybody behind the ball and try and spring attacks from that position and if you've got the right type of players to soak up that pressure then why not adopt that tactic makes complete sense to me Useful ball towards the back post this time. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down, and he's very, very unlucky. De Bruyne now. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Magnificent challenge to win it back. And options in the centre. Mares. Possession one. Relentless high pressing. Well, they know how to press. The ball's on the net for Manchester City. Well, as a defender, you might think you can anticipate what he's going to do next. But try thwarting him. Well, Derek, this is why coaches tell you to stop the cross from coming in. 
But they didn't get tight enough and were punished for it. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Well, it can be difficult being a manager at times, none more so than now. And so the game back in business, City ahead here. Another play for a Manchester City throw in. Rodri. Given away by City. Maya. He's such an intelligent player, Fernandinho. Rodri. Gundogan. Sterling. Gundogan. Cleared away comprehensively. Walker. A lot of momentum about this Manchester City attack. What can they do from here? Kuyate now. Max Meyer. Can they hit on the break? Ward. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. It is advantage Manchester City here. Sterling. Aguero. Gundogan. The ball with Rodri. Gundogan. He continues to make hay. Gundogan threading it through. Almost what you might call a jaw-dropping save. Oh, he's got no right to make that save. It's absolutely fantastic. He's driven in the corner. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come onto them. And teammates to play it to. Kuyate. Max Meyer. I must say, no shortage of space. Electing to cross into the centre. A deft clearance. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. Really tense battle so far. And now the second half is underway. Luka Milivojevic. Zaha, accurate ball and draws the near post. Keeper's contribution, but what next? Not much time to make up his mind. Mares. And now Kevin De Bruyne. Going well. De Bruyne. Aguero. It might be. Oh, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Put in by De Bruyne. 
The idea was to get the corner beyond the first defender, but he didn't succeed. Space afforded him. Most accurately towards the far post. And a no-nonsense clearance. He succeeds in clearing it. It's with Gundogan. De Bruyne. Sterling. De Bruyne. Aguero. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Kuyate now. Rodri. He's enjoying space. Mares. Crossing possibilities. Clearing the lines. And so it will be a corner now. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Number 20, Fernando Silva. Now the delivery, foiling them effectively. The ball with Rodri. Gundogan. Here's De Bruyne. And back with Rodri. De Bruyne. Aguero. And now Rodri. Alas, a wild, wild attempt. Well, after that effort, I'm not sure whether he's right or left-footed. James Tompkins. And that's an important intervention with their noses in front in the second half. What will be the thinking in the camp, Lee Dixon? The City players have to focus on not making any mistakes in order to protect this slender lead. If a bit of magic from the opposition gets them back in it, there's little you can do about that. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Foden. Here's Aguero. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. And the keeper's given it away inexcusably. Well, just listen to these City fans. The crowd very much behind the team right now. It's been a tough game. Not long to go before they see this out. Max Meyer. Ward now. Rodri. Foden. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Crossing possibilities. It's got to be! And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Just a couple of minutes left for play. And Cech Chosun has it. Joel Ward. Milivojevic. Both officials in the Might be able to set up the chance. Emerson, wonderful goalkeeping. A change in the offing for City. Torsun. Cross there that was decidedly ordinary. And there goes the final whistle. As a footballer, you can never be quite sure how it's all going to unfold. But suffice it to say, it unfolded positively for Gundogan.
is always a man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him in that vital moment when he grabbed that goal.